Uh, these are parakeets. What did, were there any other kinds that were, or was it all parakeets? No, it was uh, mostly parakeets. Um, we have about 40 at the Animal Rescue wow. League. On the east side, we have about 40 of them that are going to be available for adoption this week. Um, a group called the Parrot Posse, an online group uh, of donors, donated cages. So the plan is to adopt them out with a cage, a really nice, good-sized cage uh, for them. So we'll adopt out a pair to a cage for around $50 adoption fee. So you'll get everything with the pair so that they're housed. We don't want to have them in a situation, you know, any bad situation no. in Oregon. So we want them to go into a nice size space for these types of birds. They actually do better with a longer cage versus a taller okay. one because they, they fly side to side. Right. So they really need the space to fly and a lot of people don't realize that. So, um, you know, the old cages were just smaller and taller. taller right. They need a wide cage. So they're going to get a um, cage. We'll go with them. <laughs> and then we also are going to have about 21 of them to choose from at the um, north side location, the Humane Society. So they have a cage of budgies there as well. So, um, and then Pearl got um, pretty much any bird that was bigger than, you know, the tiny budgies. Mm -hmm. Um, so they do have a lot of those available birds now, and wow. they usually bring the birds. They'll be bringing them to their education classes, so they'll be at the shelter. January 3rd is the next class, and they'll have some of those birds, the medium, uh, small, medium-sized parrots. There were, um, they ranged from like conures all the way up, lovebirds, um, senegals, there was a goffin's cockatoo, there was, um, wow. yeah, so there was a good range oh of, my of birds, about 25 to 30 of those types of birds, and then the rest were all little guys. So we need to find all these babies good homes, uh, especially with the older birds or the, excuse me, the larger birds. Uh, folks, it, it, you probably need a little more experience to take one of those because if you adopt them young, they're going to be, they might outlive you. You could be, you know, uh, bequeathing your bird to the next person in your family. But uh, budgies are fun and uh, sing a lot, make a lot of noise. And, but they're fun to have around the house. So um, check out the Animal Rescue League, ARLS, ARL Saves Lives. And uh, thanks so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it's rolling. All right. Our uh, pet of the month with the uh, 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 Animal Rescue League. And we have some uh, animals who were rescued, uh, a hoarding issue. And how many birds were brought in from this particular? Close to 150. Wow, this is Monica. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you work with Pearl, or are you with the Animal Rescue League? I'm with the Animal Rescue League, right? But I, we do work with Pearl. We've established a new relationship with them since this case, and so yeah, we're planning on doing a lot more work with them. Great. And Pearl is a specific avian rescue. Yes. Yes. And they're from the Pittsburgh area. Yes, okay. they are. And yep, they're a local group, exactly. And they start actually. They're going to start holding their education classes at our um, facility. Oh, so great. we'll provide a space for them because they don't have an actual location. Mm -hmm. They're just a network of fosters. So if you're looking to uh, adopt a little bird,